go to Australia with the reading for the collective. Take what resonates throughout the rest. Wow. Look what I opened up to. Death and Ten of Swords. This looks really treacherous. Someone's going through an ending and they've got enemies after them. They're about to... Wow. They're not seeing something. Yeah, look at that. End of a cycle. They think that they think that this is going to be a more humane ending than it is. They've got a lot of people about to come after them. This is not a happy home. Um, someone's been trying to stop them from leaving. Um, there, no one, no one is doing well here. Um, everyone seems like maybe they can. Everyone can forgive and heal their hearts. That seems like what the energy is. Um, in a situation that they'll both help each other on the way out. The problem is someone's very jealous, aggressive, um, witchy, witchy person. Someone is leaving this person. Um, they feel like though that it's humane right now or that everyone is seeing eye to eye or actually, actually, I feel like Maybe that's not the case. Maybe they're going through. They know that there's people coming after them. They're try. I see. They're trying to get out in a way that's congenial or not congenial, like fair. Or they're trying to do things in a way where I don't know. Like I'll still help you. We'll still be friends. Or you know, this way we can both heal, you know, all the logical stuff, but they feel subconsciously they were very reckless for doing this um, in the first place, or that someone's about to get very reckless, which, which those cards I just saw, I feel, yeah, everything's been, they've been losing, everything's been off balance, energetically off balance, monetarily off balance, chaos. They think they're going to be missing out on work or or they feel like someone's going to come after them in a really mean way. Um, this person wants to, they want to boss up. They want to be in charge of their own life. They want to be in control of their own life. They want to make a different choice. They feel like they've got someone in mind that they want to head towards. They feel like there's someone that they've, maybe left behind or they've got a choice they've, they've had someone they want to head towards they feel like they can manifest better with this person um i don't know why i'm shuffling again <laughs> um in the near future um wow lack of unity between two people who are soulmates or these two people don't get along if this person is still there um, it could be a, one of those drawn out endings, uh, just a lack of unity between these two people here, or there's something about two people that are separated in the near future that's going to be of significance. Um, I feel like this person has been trying all this congenial stuff, but I feel like it's all coming to a head. Um, the way that they're looking at the situation, someone doesn't want them to walk away. Someone's been trying to guide them the wrong way. They see that. Um, the, the communication is all very frustrating. Someone could be trying to block people from talking to people or frustrated actions or this isn't going anywhere or everything's falling apart. And it's just very, um, everything's coming to us. Like everything's coming to a crux or I don't know if that's how you pronounce the word. Um, everything is stopping or some sort of, there's, there, there could be jealousy or like frustrated messages or even in the outside world, it just feels like friction, um, friction somehow. There's like friction with communication or some, like things are coming to a halt or things aren't moving. Could have to do with communication or movement. Someone could feel very frustrated. There's frustrated energy around communication or movement, but with people who are not part of this household, 
King of Swords, someone's worried about this malicious masculine energy who will do anything, uh, just anything. This person is, is malicious and they're worried about that person. Um, wow. Outcome, nine of coins. If this person feels like, um, you know, they're losing and that there's going to be any form of congeniality between this person and this karmic energy they're trying to leave, no, this person's going to want to take whatever they can. Nine of Pentacles reverse. Um, under the deck, we have the sun. This person's very disillusioned, very unhappy, um, not just not happy at all. Um, they've been trying to, to be uh, logical and emotionally available. Um, they've been trying to talk about the best thing for everyone with this commitment it's just there's they're trying to speak in terms that this person can understand um healing for everyone that the best thing for themselves as well where they feel like they need to go and where they both should be going maybe there's someone else for them um something like that um but this person really has been yeah not wanting them to not not wanting them to um, listen to their calling, or this person doesn't want to take accountability there. They don't want to listen to to any of this. This person cares a lot about like sexual matters. They want to like they could be trying to also hold on to this person sexually, or um, they're they're also not attracted to this person. They don't like their jealousy or their aggressiveness, or they're they're like witchy. They feel like this person's been trying to use um, their body or something like that. The moon. They felt like there's some sort of deception that's being realized, and they were very reck. They were more reckless than than they realized. This was a lot more serious situation than than they realized when when they were doing it. They knew they were taking a risk, but not this kind of a risk. They've been very very hopeless in the near future with all of this chaos and losing money. It's just been a nightmare. I'm very. They feel like this person, this Empress in the Reverse, is going to do something very mean. They're going to have to. This person's going to be very detailed about how mean they are as well in regards to try to, in regards to trying to get revenge on this person. Something about this um, separation in the near future between these two people. Someone's not committing to someone. It's not. They're they're not their soulmate. This person is trying to keep them trapped. Um, person is watching them like a hawk. They feel like this person is going to use some sort of like gossip to ruin them or maybe even threatening them that way. Some sort of text messages or like, it feels like they can't get in touch with people or there's other people who are angry or something like that in the environment. Something about something not being fair. Something's not fair. People don't want to be, so they don't, whoever they are though, they don't want to I don't know, it could be even like anonymous messages or something, like, I don't know, there's something weird going on in the environment with messages or someone frustrated, actually people are frustrated about something not being fair. King of Swords, reverse, um, this person's trying to create illusions for this person, very malicious masculine energy, they have to deal with them as well. That person created a lot of confusion. Um, this person is going to want some sort of forgiveness or something like that, but they're also going to be after money and still, they won't have learned their lesson at all. There's a lot of greed here. This person wants reward without effort under this deck. I also have sun reverse. So I've got sun reverse under, under both decks. Um, this person is definitely very, very disillusioned. So, Um, this person's tired. They're tired. They, they can't, they can't do it anymore. Um, they do. They want to be, they, they're trying to be something, but it's, it's not working. There's, they created an injustice trying to be this version of themselves. It's not realistic. It's, they want to, um, come out of they need forgiveness. They want to heal their heart. They don't want to be in regret. Um, so this person doesn't want to listen to better judgment or 
listen to their calling. They don't want to take accountability. The house is not happy. Um, this person doesn't want them to leave. It's, they just feel stuck with this person who keeps trying to, they could even be trying to use alcohol to keep someone stuck. Alcohol and um, just keep holding on to them. Um, yeah, drugs, alcohol, fantasies. The person's really trying to just like use whatever tools they can. They, they know that they're being manipulated. This person's trying to be congenial with them though. Um, this person's trying to use fantasy and sensuality or whatever it is. There's some sort of deception um, in regards to this house, this long-term commitment, this these accolades and this uh, milestone and everything that they were supposed to get or they thought that, that they were going to get all these things, but it was all an illusion. There was a lot of deception here. They were very, very reckless. Um, it's hard for them to admit that to themselves. They've been very unhappy. Nothing's coming true. Wishes unfulfilled. A lot of chaos. Losing money. Um, there's something about you. They feel like you are very like grounded and independent and that there's something about you in comparison to all this chaos that's really standing out to them or has been. Um, this Empress in reverse, they, they feel a lot of anxiety about the way that this person is going to come after them. Um, they're going to be very mean. They're going to try really hard if, when they leave. This person's leaving. Um, but they just feel like this person's going to come after them in a, a terrible way. Um, in a very, like, calculated way. Knight of Pentacles reversed. There's no commitment here. This is not a soulmate, or there's soulmates that are separated. Someone doesn't want someone to leave. Six of Swords reverse. They keep trying to stop them from leaving. Um, they, this person is watching them like a hawk. They could be looking at their phone or something like that, or it's like a lot of, um, this person's trying to defend themselves. It's like they're trying to keep them stuck. They're like watching them, spying. They feel like they're, there might be a lot of people watching them or something. They just feel really under the microscope or something. Like so emotionally stuck. They're trying to not be emotionally stuck, but they just feel like ganged up on or like a lot of people are after them or something like that. They feel very, like multiple people here, a lot of tension within a group. They feel like spied on or something by this group. Um, there's all these people texting them or some kind of weird messages going on. Something about something being unfair. King of Pentacles in the reverse. There could be, some, I don't know if there's a lawyer or somebody, some frustrated messages from someone. Or they could be calling them names or something like that. This person feels like um, something about traveling or they're waiting for something to come in. They might feel like this King of Swords in the reverse is going to do something very malicious or try to create some kind of an illusion uh, around something that they've been waiting for. This person's going to have to fight their way out of the situation. They're going to have to make a really bold and courageous move because this person is really trying to hold on to them um, using all kinds of like emotional blackmail and also trying to, um, they just want money from this person, reward without effort. So, yeah. Um, this, there's also work involved here as well that's really got this person concerned. Um, but they want to move forward and not be disillusioned. They definitely have somebody. Um, yeah, there's something about messages here. Um, they could feel like there's a calling or there's something they're supposed to be doing. They feel like there, there are opportunities for them still. And it's just not happening where they're at. Um, they feel like they're, they're, there's a destiny that they're supposed to head towards. Um, and anything else? The person is just using every tactic to keep them there um, that they can. And they also feel ganged up on by this group. There's a group here. Um, every, every tactic to keep them here and they're going to have to literally fight their way out. Yeah, there's no peace or harmony in the situation. That's what they're trying to say. And even when they try to leave, it just makes it worse. Um, there's no sense of wonderment here. They can't wander either. They feel very trapped and un just lacking the light. Um, anyway, 
if you resonate with this message. I hope that it helps, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.